Hey everybody, I want to thank each and every one of you that is subscribed to this channel and watching uh, how I uh, cook up different things. I have uh, a, a unique thing that I'm going to cook up today. I have uh, my uh, other cutting board that I made. This one's a, a big one. And I got a groove around the outside of it so that if I cut brisket on it, I can contain the juice, I hope. Anyways, today I decided I'm going to, I, I have a desire, a hankering to have some nachos. So I decided to uh, buy some extra lean uh, ground beef and I'm going to cook it. But in the, as I cook it, I'm going to make up another, uh, I got several pans here, uh, a dip. And I'm gonna mix the hamburger in with the dip. So I got things like mushroom soup and uh, chili seasoned uh, tomato, diced tomato. I've got, yeah, Mexican festive, um, cheese. I'm thinking I may even uh, divide a Velveeta cheese. I've never, I haven't had that since I was 10 years old, I think. So I thought I'll try it. I'm going to have a half onion and I'm going to put a jalapeno in it. I'm going to put it on the smoker, probably set the smoker, uh, the Louisiana for about 350. It should take about 45 minutes, 50 minutes. I will cook it, smoke it. Then I will mix it all together. And I will then uh, try the tacos and dip it, the tacos in it. I mean, um, nachos in it. Try it. I believe it's going to be really good. Got lots of cheese left over from my last project. So keep watching. You'll see me in a couple minutes. I mean, not even a couple minutes, in a second or two. So I'm going to prepare all of this, cut it all up. I may show you what it looks like uh, once I got it all done. And then I will turn around and put it on the smoker. All right. Hey, everybody. So I got this concoction made up here. <laughs> I got my jalapenos, uh, half a, I used that half of a white onion on it. I got a jalapeno pepper in there, I put lots of cheese. I only use one can of that tomato spice, but on this one, I'm going to use cinnamon chili rub. I'm gonna put it on here. I'm going to uh, know that it's gonna be uh, a good taste. Put a little chili in it, jalapeno. And then uh, when I put it on the grill, I will uh, make sure that I stir it every once in a while to cook it. This one, I'm gonna do a cash cow beef rub. I don't know if it's even open yet or not. I, I bought it, oh no, it isn't even open yet. There we go. So I'm going to do that on this one thing neat about it is um, I've I've used this several times it's a grill it's got holes in the bottom so the smoke can go both ways I'm uh, gonna try something new on my smoker this morning uh, today as I'm uh, cooking this stuff up I am going to try something new yeah i do it in my big smoker always i have a big cast iron pot and i always fill it up with water when i do my sausages and things like that so i was talking to a couple guys that smoke and they said in the vertical you got to use water in order for the smoke to grasp hold of the molecules of water that are being evaporated and go up and it smokes everything in that in that smoker. So today 
I'm going to try. I've got a little cast iron pot, about this big round, about that deep. I'm gonna fill it up with water. I'm going to uh, put it in my Louisiana grill and I'm gonna see if it makes any difference in the taste by adding water into this. Because I've had uh, lots of smokes now without water in my Louisiana grill. But this time, I'm gonna add some water. I'm gonna see if it tastes any better. I'm believing it will. All right, see you in a minute. Hey everybody, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching this. Anyways, here's my, uh, my two concoctions that I have made up. This is a hamburger with beef. This one is a chili. So it's going to be good. Uh, my temperature, I got set for three, 345. I'm going to put it in. Yeah, I'll put it in. And you can see in the corner here that I actually have a pan of water. I'm excited about this. It's going to be good. I'm excited to see how it's going to turn out. Believe that the water molecules are going to make the smoke stick to that even better. So we will uh, show you what it looks like once it's cooked and then I'm going to mix it all up together. It's going to be good. Yeah, I can already tell. Okay, I'm back. It's been 25 minutes, basically at 3.45. I'm uh, going to stir this up. It is... Uh, I didn't, I didn't expect it to be um, cooked or anything like that, but I'm going to stir up the veggies and cheese and just let it continue, let it continue. To do what it needs to do. I had to, uh, Oh yeah. I had to turn up the corners on it because it was overflowing on me. Holy schmoly. Anyways, it's going to be good. It looks good. I'm excited about it. I'm uh, gonna stir it a little bit more and we'll see you in another minute. I'm looking at this uh, hamburger that I got done, done and um, they say that 145 is when it's uh, you can start to eat it so I'm just going to catch some temperatures here uh, so that I can see what the oh yeah it's well done well done I'm just gonna, I wanna taste it before I put it into um, that there. I just wanna see what it looks like. See, uh, oh yeah, it's got nice smoke. Whole top, bottom. Mmm. Amazing. I love that. I just bought that uh, spice. It's really good tasting. I'm going to turn this uh, concoction over here. I'm going to stir it up again. My water is like almost like boiling, but it's not. Anyways, that hamburger tastes good. It's going to be good when put into the into my mix. Well, it is bubbling boiling it has been two hours cooking so I uh, just had a taste of it, it tastes really good I'm going to mix it in with a hamburger hey everybody so I had a really uh, good smoke on the top of this when I took it off the smoker I stirred it up but uh, 
I'm so surprised at how um, runny it is. So I'm going to add it to my hamburger. Then I'm going to stir it up. I think once it's cooled down, it's probably going to get thicker. I would think so. Anyways, I'm going to pour it in here. And then I'm going to stir it up. Then I'm going to go over to Tim and Amanda's and Titus's place. And I'm going to turn around. Look at this stuff. Turn around. Oh, yeah. Wow, is that thing hot? Hot, hot. Hot. Woo! I'm going to turn around and get them to taste test it. So I will see you in about a minute or two when I'm over at their house and they will taste test it and uh, let you all know how it turned out. All right, talk to you soon. Thanks for subscribing and make a, leave a comment. All right. All right, so this is the finished product and um, my son Tim uh, is gonna try it gonna and try it. Uh, give a review on it. Now, on my review, I have no idea what's in here. No clue. So this is... Here we go. It's not bad because he's going it's for not a bad. second. It's a little different. It is different. It is different. I see. Here's another one here just for comparison. Not everybody is into uh, tacos. It's got it's got three four different kinds of cheeses in it. It's got hamburger in it. And I'm gonna try it here. I say it's almost got like the consistency of a bean dip. Yeah, it does. I wish they'd make I'm tacos that reinforced nacho chips here. I mm-hmm. Can you taste the smoke? A little bit, yep. I smoked it and with different spices in the meat and different spices in the cheese. And it's, it's uh, good, I like it. I would say it's probably an acquired taste. Not necessarily everybody would probably like it. Yeah. I got containers, so I'm gonna donate it to different people. Perfect. <laughs> but it's good, it is yeah. good. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.